Hello there, welcome back to another video on Ark Survival Ascended. Today, it's a tutorial build for this dino dock where you can basically park a couple of your water dinos like Maglidons, for example, that I have parked right here. You should be able to fit in a couple of them at least and you have two places to park some in this build. But of course, if you would need it, you could add extra docking base if you want to build an even bigger base and a bigger addition than this but uh yeah let's get started with this build so first thing you need is uh some kind of dock some kind of walkway that we're gonna connect this build to you need to be just a little bit above the water line like this that would work best um because we need to go like two walls deep into the water as well so make sure you have enough space underwater as well to build but yeah you should have some kind of connection where you can build the dock and then we're gonna start by you know extending it for the main build so we're gonna make a walkway up here first and you can only go three out before you will need some pillars now the pillars of course are very personal that's why it probably won't be a material list for this build because um, it's kind of difficult to do. I might do one just for the building and leave like the walkways out of it because yeah, that just depends on like how deep it goes because you can see it's a little deeper there. But yeah, you want to make four of these in total. So you can go three out at once. You want to make sure you have four of those in total for the middle walkway. So basically, four times until you can't go any further and, and you connect the pillars to support it. So now we have done uh, basically two. This is the third. And then we'll do one more. But you can see as... As further we go into the water, you will need to go deeper with the pillars. But of course, this is very dependent on the location. That is why it's going to be quite difficult to make a material list. And it's probably going to be even more difficult when you try to do this in survival, I know. But, um, I mean, the end result, I think, is worth it. Uh, probably will want to do it where it's too deep. Because where I'm right now, it's already going to start to become... <laughs> quite deep indeed okay so this is what you should have right now and then we want to connect the side bits we want to go out by six so of course we can only go three out at once because then we reach the limit we want to only place a pillar on the outside here uh, to make sure that we have the foundation connection and then another three like this before adding more supports right there all right and then what we want to do is we're going to extend from here because this is going to be the side bit that you're going to have to build twice on both sides of course so first off you place one a full ceiling on this side and then we go out on this side here we'll need a little bit more uh we can't go any further of course because the pillar is over there so we'll have to place another supporting pillar over here if it will give me the right snap point there we go okay so we are out by two now we need eight in total so this will be another three so we'll be at five uh but we'll need to go out more so we'll build another support so we have the foundation connection again and then we'll go out by another three and then we should have a connection of eight in total um i would suggest doing this exact same thing on the other side right now for the tutorial to keep it simple i'm only gonna build one side because it's basically the same thing so make sure you copy whatever we've done right now on the other side as well then of course there's a lot more details to add in first of all we need to make sure that we have the end bits in place so you want to extend these ones with some quarter ceiling so we get this shape on this side and on the other end as 
well this is where we're gonna have like the rest of the main structure in place uh we're gonna place walls here make sure to have the green bit on the outside because these are the end bits of our build basically the roof shapes the a-frame shapes we're gonna build in here so we're gonna just build up like this so we have the shape of the build that we want for these side parts and then we're gonna have pillars all around and this is also gonna be where we add in the final supports on these ends there we go and then i would also suggest adding in beams at the bottom because i think it just looks a little bit better to have a beam over there of course we can't have on this side because it's just a little bit smaller but this is the end bit you should have and then let's do the same thing on the other side as well and we'll have some more supports down here too And there we go that is what we should have now of course we want to make this look a little bit more supported so what we want to do is add in some quarter wooden walls start with the first variation then do the second variation then go back to the first one and then the second one again and you do that for both sides uh but make sure to go through the variations well i, I guess it doesn't really matter but that's just a habit I've gotten into because usually, especially if you connect to other materials, so if you would use wood on the end instead of greenhouse, for example, you would have to do these variations. So I just have gotten into the habit of doing it like this so that it will always connect. And you could definitely build it with wooden ends, but I like to have the window, let the light come in and also just, you know, have a nice little bit of a view even though it's not quite as clear as i would like um but yeah this this is the shape you want to go for and then also on this side you want to end in the supports to make it feel more like it's a proper structure there um so we're gonna connect that as well we don't really need it for supports but it's just more to make this part of the structure make more sense so we do that on both sides as well so that we have that entire look completed okay then we're almost uh, ready to go work on the roof on this side first what we want to do is bring in our quarter wood ceilings and just go along this entire side basically extending this little uh, dock little walkway that we have because we have the space anyway so we might as well use it it yeah it just gives you a little bit of moving room um to to walk around and then we're gonna go place metal railings uh, along the side just to finish off this entire look and to make it safe so you don't fall off all the time there we go so only do that on this side of course because otherwise uh, we can't really connect it to uh, the rest of the water dock for the dinos. And then you want to also uh, connect this part because otherwise that would look a little bit weird. Um, then we're going to fill in the actual dock itself. Now, it's probably easiest to start with the corners. And it's actually the same as building a roof. You just want to fill in the corner like this and then on the other side we want to do the exact same oh god make sure you place it right sometimes it changes last minute there we go so we want to have the corners in like so and then we can fill in it with normal roofs in between now i do this with metal because i think uh that adds a nice look but of course you could just use wood or stone if you want to use a little bit of cheaper material. Um, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. And then we want to go an extra layer down as well. So let's connect in these parts right away. God, that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. 
And this is why it's very important to make sure that you can go two walls deep, because otherwise you run into a problem right here. And it's a bit of a shame if you've built all these things and you find out you can't do it. So for this part, I go for something like this, just to have a nice little end shape as well, basically to scoop up all your dinos. And then, of course, we want to fill this in with some metal ceilings so your dino can actually be parked here. And then we end up with something like this, which is the first docking bay. And of course, if you're building along, make sure to flip everything to the other side as well. So you have this bay on the other side as well. OK, now we have basically the side bit almost done and ready to build a roof on. But we, of course, also need our main bit or middle bit. And again, we're going to start by extending these two little bit with a quarter ceiling and we do the same on the end right there so that we can build the structure for our uh, roof to connect to basically or a frame structure so we want to build a wall on both sides um, that's all because we're going to place a dino gate in the middle and then we want to go too high and then we're going to have Wood on the outside. Now, this is where the variations do matter. So the normal one first, second variation, and then normal one, and then the second variation. So they fit into each other nicely. And we're going to do the same on all sides, basically. There we go. And then if you want to, you know, fit in this last one, you can see it's not really finding a snap point. So what you want to do basically add in some quarter ceilings in the middle and then we can connect our uh, wall to that so you want to make sure that you keep the right uh, connections though so make sure to use the right variation so that it fits in nicely to the other side and i use the no the, the i guess the insides of the wood on the outside because i just like that a little bit more which of course you could go for the other way around if you want that look uh there all right and then we fill in the walls as well there we go and then of course we want to end it all with the sloped roofs on top to get the a-frame shape and then i would also fill in this last part as well just to finish the look so you should have something like this on this side and we're gonna do the same on the other side as well because we're gonna of course need that on both sides so we start off with or wall too high we can instantly just go for this shape to save some time now we've seen it once we can do it a little bit faster of course and then we're gonna fill in this again what you can also do if you want to make it speedier you can fill it in like this first and then replace these i don't think that will work in uh survival though or you'll waste a little bit of material so you might not want to do it but just make sure that you use the right variations so that you get the wall connected all the way through because that does look a whole lot nicer than if it doesn't actually connect so we want to make sure that we have the whole shape complete again so that we can fill in this part as well go and then we do this side too and then we're almost ready to start on the actual roof so we should end up with something looking like this okay then we want to make it look a little bit better so first off i would add in some supports on these corners just to make it look a little bit like it makes sense because otherwise it feels like it's floating uh you can you can if you want connect it all the way up 
I don't necessarily do that, but I do do it here because we're going to fit in some uh, metal gates. So I do it on both sides here just to make that connection look a little bit nicer. And then we actually want to have beams going across like this as well. And then we'll do the exact same on the opposite side too. So we'll connect the pillars like this. And then we'll have beams as well. Going like so. And then we'll add in the support as well. Just so it doesn't look like it's floating. It's not actually needed as a support. But otherwise it just feels very random that the end of the building is just floating in uh, the middle of nowhere above the sea so yeah i feel like this only makes sense i guess you could remove the other pillars if you would want to um, because you technically don't need them anymore because now it's supported by the other ones but you don't want to risk it and you're not bothered by the extra materials you can just leave it like this and then we want to finish the a-frame again with the little glass shape now you only need this of course on the outside um you could add it in on the other side as well if you want to make that uh, look complete like you could add in these as well but technically you don't really need them of course um it's just whatever you prefer to do then for placing the actual dino gates we have to do a little bit of tricky maneuvering because as you can see they won't really find a snap point because we use the little addition on the outside. So what you need to do is basically remove snap points and do it a little bit by hand, which is not ideal, but it's um, the only way I've found to make it work. So you want to try and get it in the middle as much as possible so that it looks all right. And then you can add in the gate itself as well now technically you don't need the gates of course um you could just leave it like this as well if you want to save some materials but i kind of like the look of having those big doors so yeah we'll just fiddle around a little bit trying to get it as much in the middle as possible and then we'll add in the doors here as well because i just like the big entrance feeling it gives even though i won't be closing these doors anytime i think because there's no need to close them but yeah i think it uh, adds a little bit extra to the build but it is optional because you don't need them and they don't really function because it's it's an ocean one you swim in so yeah oh and then what i would also add what i added in my case is I would add some ramps here. Just wooden ramps will do. Um, I added these because I also have like a Sarko, which I just usually keep on some of these dogs standing in the middle. And then you can just, uh, you know, walk off or swim off into the water through the main gate. So any, basically any dinos that can go into the water, but are also land dinos, you can use this ramp. So maybe for a Baryonyx as well, you can use this entrance and you have a little ramp going into the dock then we're basically done with the basic structure so make sure that you copy whatever you have on this side what i've built on the other side as well so you have two of these docks and then we'll start working on the roof now the roof is a little complicated but not too complicated i don't know if it will work on official um because i'm not on official so i'm not quite sure so let's get started on the roof first off we're going to start at this part the middle part of our base and we want to line up the roof like so and basically just make it go all the way like this then we want to go for the corner here and we'll just connect it to the other side until we come to the part where we want to connect it with this building and here you want to make sure that you get this snap point first so you have the little overhang for your roof as well uh, because as you'll see you'll overlap these two roofs because otherwise it just 
won't quite line up all the way. Um, then we can go for the next level of roof as well. Uh, connect them all the way through again. Basically, I always try to go and make sure that these corners are working before I do anything else. So now we have this part of the roof covered because as you can see, it doesn't go any higher. So that means that the next part, you can just go all the way along like this until it connects up to the other base again here you probably want to make sure that you place these first the snap points for the overhang before you overlap like this because we definitely want to have the overhang on the outside because that just looks a whole lot nicer in my opinion so i would always go and make sure you have those right snap points because unfortunately the roofs don't always line up the right way uh but there we go that's basically the most difficult part of the roof getting to sh make sure those corners align perfectly so that's why i always would suggest starting with those and working from the corners to the ends because if you have an overlapping bit i want i like to have it over there because it's you know it's less of an issue there i'd say um and then of course here we want to have another corner like this connecting up both roofs again on the inside as well i can go all the way there and then we can do another corner here and then we're basically almost done already with the roof it's not too complicated as long as you make sure that you have the corners right that's why i will always like to get that over earth as soon as possible and then you already have a roof looking like this of course on the other side you would basically be doing the same thing so you want to make sure you get the right snap points and then here you can fill it all in. We probably are going to have the same overlap as I did on the other side, of course. Uh, but since I haven't built this part for the tutorial, I can't really fill that in. But yeah, basically you do the same on the other side, just what I did. Uh, but then, of course, flipped around. Um, so you'll probably have the overlap on the end as well. So make sure that whatever I did here, you do on both sides. Uh, as with everything, really, so that you have the roof like this. Now, if we're now on the inside, the roofs are quite flowing, just just basically hovering. So I do like to add in a couple of support pillars. So one of them I like to do right in this corner because it's just a nice point that you can connect to. And we want to do the same thing on the other side as well. Of course, we're going to finish this roof as well, but now we can easily get those points. And then I would also suggest adding in another one around here somewhere. Just make sure you line it up with the other pillar just to add in an extra support because otherwise it feels a little bit weird if there's no pillars there at all because, I mean, that just feels like the roof is floating. Then for this roof, of course, it's basically just filling it all in. Now that we've got the corners done on the inside, this part of the roof is actually fairly easy and we can just fill it all in and make it connected like this and then of course on the inside here you probably want to add another pillar as well make sure you line it up with that side and then we're gonna have it come from there now we can see it's on the same line as that pillar and it's on the same line as this pillar so you basically want to make sure that it ends of course on the walkway and not into your uh dock area basically now we probably want to make these inside bits look a little bit nicer because it looks a little bit random here especially so what you could do is connect some beams through here from these pillars just so it looks a little bit nicer the same for this part actually because it looks a little bit random still so i probably would also add in some uh, pillars here again not for the actual support or foundation just to make the build a little bit more sensible like it feels like this building that we we made on top needs the supports so just 
makes it look a little bit more right or something. In my mind, it makes a lot more sense if you see this. And then what I did is I placed my feeding troughs right there uh, on the inside so that you have a place to store the food. Uh, now, you could have the same beams here as well if you want to make sure that it matches on both sides. Um, so you can just fit them in right here. Then actually on this side, we want to connect this with quarter ceilings because we have the extra space and I'm placing all the quarter ceilings in the wrong places, but you only need to do the outside bit. Basically, so this pillar lines up with this uh, wall. So now we can easily connect them with some railings again without having any weird shapes. I really messed up the uh, quarter ceilings here. Probably want to make sure that they are all going the same way because that just looks a little bit nicer. But um, apparently I can't place anything right right now. So yeah, you just want to have the railings across. Again, you don't want to keep falling off all the time. Or at least I don't like that. And I think it looks a little bit nicer with the railings. But if you have that, you should basically have the entire dock complete, of course, replicated on the other side as well. Okay, so you should end up with something looking like this. The same two docks on both sides. You have the little middle part where you enter. You've got your supports. You've got your docking area where you can, you know, house at least two Megalodons. Um, I've got one on the other side. And again, this you could use for like Baryonyx or Asako or any like water dino that can also go on land. And then I have my feeding troughs here. So I know that they will have plenty of food. And yeah, I think this is a very nice and easy to build dock. And again, as I said, say for most of my A-frame builds, I've made this with wooden metal. I really like the contrast of that. Do realize that it might be a little bit of expensive materials. So you could also do this with stone or just wood if you if you like that look more. It doesn't really matter too much, but I just really like, like this look for this place. Yeah, and then you basically should have your dock completely ready so hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to my channel and if you want to support the channel even more you can become a member from the low low price of one euro uh, there's some other tiers as well if you want to support even more and you get some cool benefits as well the second tier actually gets to watch all videos as soon as they are done so yeah that's another way to support me if you want but just liking the videos and uh, leaving a comment already helps a lot. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.